According to the news that has been reported today, it should not come as a surprise that XRP is on the verge of becoming highly popular and as a consequence to become quite valuable. The reason for this is that institutions have just demonstrated that the floodgates are indeed open. The market will soon turn around and the price of cryptocurrency, particularly XRP, will skyrocket. This is due to the fact that Ripple collaborates with institutions, possesses licenses to move money, and is always improving. According to what I have demonstrated in my earlier videos, which can be seen here, here, and here, one of the most prominent advocates for this is none other than JP Morgan. On the other hand, they believe that regulated stablecoins will acquire a significant portion of the market, that regulated stablecoins have the potential to alter the monetary system and disrupt established systems such as SWIFT, and that the stablecoins coin bill will be approved before to the election, which indicates that it will be passed within the next two to three months. More evidence that the floodgates are opening is the fact that the leader of the Democratic Party has expressed a desire to adopt a crypto law before the end of the year, which is something that we already know. The fact that beginning at the end of this year, Russians will be allowed to use Bitcoin and CBDCs for international transactions is something that will be possible. At the end of this year, stablecoin laws will also be implemented in the United Kingdom. The value of cryptocurrency on the open market will be revealed once more by the time this year comes to a close. You also have the option of using the EU stablecoin. That is going to be completely implemented by the time this year comes to a close. There is a pattern here and it is not difficult to make out what is going to happen next. What I'm going to show you in this film are even more people who hold critical positions within the organization and they demonstrate that the floodgates are about to open. What I really want to demonstrate to you first, however, is how bullish JP Morgan is about the upcoming cryptocurrency market and how they integrate Ripple and XRP into their operations. This is evidence that institutional staking is on its way, which is a positive development. This is very significant news. As of right now, Anchorage Digital is the only bank in the United States that is legally chartered and offers staking services. Those who own Axler have the ability to stake through Anchorage Digital and receive incentives for maintaining the integrity of the network. Because XRP collaborates with Axler, this is a really significant piece of news for the cryptocurrency. As was demonstrated in this essay, one of the ways that Axler can be utilized is to free up cash and over. Along with Axler, do you not find it to be of great assistance that Axler is working to enhance DeFi on the XRP system? There is additional evidence that Axler is a component of the interoperability that is being implemented by JP Morgan's Project Guardian. It is therefore possible that Axler, who is working with JP Morgan on Project Guardian, will be able to liberate more than $2 trillion in cash while he is working on strengthening DeFi on the XRP system. In addition to being a highly significant piece of news, this is yet more indication that JP Morgan is connected to XRP, that JP Morgan plays a significant role in ensuring that everyone is aware of the true value of XRP and the price at which it is now trading on the market. Because of this, I have a great deal of confidence in this endeavor. Because information is power, it is beneficial to have knowledge of things. You will also have the opportunity to view the several other fascinating projects that are located in this region and have the potential to bring in a significant amount of money for you if you do some research. Because I am preparing for this upcoming significant bull cycle, I have recently assembled a free disk that is known as Serverware. Now, in order to be a part of the largest wealth transfer in the history of the world, we are all working together to learn more about the actual crypto jewels, the ones that will make you money. We are still expanding at a rapid rate. We already have more than 225 individuals and we are continuing to bring on more. We are all gaining a lot of knowledge, so there is a link in the description below that will allow you to become a member of the family. Let us, however, go around once again. In order for cryptocurrencies such as XRP to emerge victorious and dominate the DeFi industry, it is imperative that institutions adhere to the established regulations. Ripple has taken the necessary precautions because they are on the verge of reaching a settlement agreement and winning their case against the Securities and Exchange Commission C and the RLUSD stablecoin. There are also a lot of money transactions to consider. Consider genuine and dependable actors in this industry, which will result in an increase in the number of investments along with an increase in the popularity and value of XRP. Rahul Advini, who works with Ripple, discusses each and every one of these MTLs in this chat event. Take a listen to this. Currently, the state level is responsible for establishing the rules. Indeed, at the level of the state, for the purpose of sending money across states in the United States, Ripple possesses around 40 licenses at the state level. Moreover, New York permits us to conduct business there. A trust license is also provided to us by Standard Custody, which is a company that we recently acquired from New York. On the other hand, Singapore has regulations that pertain to us. When it comes to being a major payments institution in Singapore, this is our license. The Monetary Authority of Singapore was the source of this information. Another institution that maintains a close check on us in Ireland is the Central Bank of Ireland. You can now find us on the VASP list. In order to determine which controller would be most suitable for our needs, we are now examining all of the available options. On the other hand, the objective is to have a call that is both stable and controllable. In addition to the fact that this is plainly very wonderful news, I have read further reports that support it.
in addition to the fact that there are more developments coming from areas and institutions that provide Ripple MTLs, it appears that there are also more MTLs coming from Ripple, which is even more encouraging news. For the very first time in history, Singapore, for instance, will have its largest bank located in this location. In its capacity as a partner with Paxos Trust, the local Omar cryptocurrency issuer, Staplecoin will be responsible for the management of assets and provision of cash management services. A collaboration between Bitstamp and Stripe was also revealed with the purpose of providing support for the fear to crypto on ramp in Europe. This is incredibly encouraging news for Ripple, considering they already possess a portion of Bitstamp. As a cherry on top of everything, Robinhood has reached an agreement to purchase Bitstamp and will soon list XRP. An enterprise that received financial backing during the first half of the year 2025. In the event that the transaction is finalized, what will be different for Bitstamp us? According to Robinhood, it will be completed in the first half of the following year. It is not possible for me to comment on a transaction that is still in progress as you might anticipate. I am only able to say that we are extremely enthusiastic about the potential implications that this one-of-a-kind combination may have for the sector. The fact that Bitstamp possesses more than 50 licenses and registrations that are still in effect all across the world should not be forgotten. It is once again adhering to the regulations that have been established by organizations that will allow XRP to take control of the sector. It is the bank. JP Morgan stated that this is what they look for and require. The groups have stated that this is what they require and desire. Ripple is already in the process of making preparations in advance to ensure that all of this takes place. This is what the institutions make it quite apparent is taking place, and I will state it once more. There is now access to the doors. It is clear from this talk that Thomas... In the course of this interview, Cohen reveals that he was a ripper for rep and that he had previously worked for the Federal Reserve. Additionally, I believe that we ought to give credit to the industry as a whole for the significant improvement that has been made in the user experience technology and applications that we all use since the previous cycle. In the year 2020, the applications that we utilized on the DeFi side and those that we utilized on the institutional side were substantially dissimilar to one another. It is one of the most significant differences between today and then. Utilizing it is a lot less difficult and it is more likely to. To facilitate a smoother transition from traditional finance to cryptocurrency for individuals. Regarding the legal side of things, I am likewise of the opinion that things have begun to shift. When you're an American, it's not too complicated. I'm here Frankfurt for, for a variety of reasons, but one of them is the fact that the European Union has received a significant amount of money as a result of Mika and its influence. The rules of the road have at long last been made available to them, whereas on the other side of the Atlantic we are still deliberating and discussing the various options available to us. The process of establishing regulations that are appropriate for this company, despite the fact that we still have a large distance to travel, it is evident that we are making progress. These factors provide us with a solid indication of the direction in which we believe something is moving.